Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Lopez and this is Christina Wolfenbarger and we are back for more information on our DAR journeys. Um, news to report, um, if you didn't hear one of the last ones that we did, mm -hmm. I am now installed a <laughs> member. <laughs> yes. And um, I've been attending every meeting, monthly mm -hmm. meetings, and uh, which has been awesome sauce. I've mm -hmm. been learning a lot. Mm -hmm. And we have some news from your side. Um, yes, well, <clears throat> two things. One, Marsha, our other person, who's our library director, um, actually also just got in recently in the past uh, two weeks or so. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we attended Monday night's meeting um, and watched her get sworn in. So that was really nice. She was very excited. Her mother and her daughter came. So yeah, there were, good. yeah, three generations there um, mm -hmm. to, to see her get sworn in. As far as my journey, I am yet again mm -hmm. one or two documents away. It's like, it's it's always. Okay. It's I like know. It, <laughs> will it though? I, I don't know. So you gotta get that forgery up. I gotta, it. right. I gotta get that printing press out and <laughs> get some document, fake document. No. No, no, no. Trust me. Um, so I, one of the documents that I needed that I felt like I could, I could contribute was my grandmother's birth certificate on my father's side. So what was kind of interesting was just one of those little things you run across when you're doing genealogy stuff. Um, I had a hard time finding her actual birth date. Um, but I was able to get that from an aunt and she remembered her mom's birthday date. And then the other thing was I had to write, uh, to our Tennessee State Library and Archives, which is an amazing resource. It's almost all free. Um, they have a, a great website and everything, or you can visit in person in Nashville. We went back in October. So I took advantage of that and just for five bucks because I was a Tennessee resident and my grandmother was born in the state also, um, they emailed me a copy of her birth certificate for five bucks. And awesome. I was like, dang, that's awesome. The cool thing about it though was mine, uh, her birth certificate was called an altered birth certificate. And so I had to do a little, what the heck is that? Google search. And turns out that is what a lot of adopted folks will have from back in the day, um, an altered birth certificate because their parents changed. It makes sense, you know? The other thing is, mm -hmm. because we were pretty certain that my grandmother was not adopted, um, just if there's an error in the original adoption paper, uh, original birth certificate, the parent or parents can um, request that oh, a birth certificate yeah. be corrected yeah. and then it's changed, so it has been altered. So mm. I have now forwarded that on to the um, genies, what they call them, to help with the genealogy um, at DAR, who I, I got passed on to because mine's been a little intense. Mm. So I've sent her that, and she's found one of the last three documents also. So literally, two out of the three documents are in her possession, and she's working on my third. So oh, man. knock on wood. I know it's been mm. a lot. It's been a lot. So what's, uh, you've been in now a I've couple months in. and gone to a couple meetings. Yes. And, um, so the other night, what, Oh, what happened with you? Um, so last meeting I was presented with my name tag, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. And, um, also I'm not sure exactly the technical name of it, but it is the DAR, um, handbook basically. So it has everything from A to Z um, pledge, um, and everything that really, you know, you need to know once you're a member and, um, you want to participate, right, in the monthly meetings. Um, I also am, um, big on social work and to help out. So, um, there are all, uh, the list is amazingly long of all the projects and service projects that you can do. And that's do. one of the things that drew both of us to wanting to do this because our chapter, particularly, I, I don't know how other chapters go, but ours is super active. It's very and active. And so this book that you have is, it has lists of all the national and state office holders, um, a list of our county participants, participants that have passed, that have who their ancestors were, how they got in. It's got all that information, but it also new has new members. It also has all your service projects for the year that you might, so you can kind of plan and say, mm -hmm. oh, I know I can do that one and I can do that mm -hmm. one. And and just in case, you know, what the, the website also has everything listed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And <clears throat> um, one of the projects, or well, I don't know, I've probably participated in three or four, I think already. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so over um, the holidays, we did, um, we purchased items to send to our service members mm -hmm. overseas. Um, we did that, I participated in that. I bought a case of um, shavers, disposable oh. shavers. Mm -hmm. so, yep. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so sent those off. Um, they also have a project for wounded vets. Um, they um, take in um, canceled postage stamps. So if you want to save your postage stamps off of letters, um, we do collect those and send those in. Um, they trade them and um, do several other projects with them. And now so. might be a good time if people are cleaning out after Christmas. Mm -hmm. If you still have those envelopes laying around. Now yes. would be a good time for those Christmas yes. cards. Yes, absolutely. And then also in your yearbook, is there a way to track your community there hours? Is, there is. You can, um, there's trackable pages um, that you can put in because that is something you want to keep track of, mm -hmm. how much time you spend. And that's also on the website? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So if you don't yeah. want to do the paper copy, mm -hmm. you can um, also do it on the website. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And I was trying to think I was doing something else. Um, well, service. we have a lot of, um, uh, veterans breakfasts oh, that yes, they do yes um on at, saturdays yeah mm -hmm. and they just had one and what they have like 30 something vets 30 -something i think that they fed vets. that morning yes um and so they have them it tends to be at churches but i don't think it always has to be it's just the availability the, the, of space space yeah, more than anything cafeteria mm -hmm. yeah tables yeah. where they can come yeah. in and serve the food so we really uh we really um like what they do, especially mm -hmm. with our vets and uh, in the community. Yeah, yeah, great projects that they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plenty to choose from, things to do. Mm -hmm. So um, we also did, uh, uh, <clears throat> again, over the holidays, we made up um, the roaster pans and we put, you know, everything you would need to make a dinner. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, we did that, a couple projects for that. <clears throat> One was to help out, you know, those in need. Um, the other project with the roaster pans is everything to bake a cake. Um, so that's pretty that's simple. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, everything to bake a cake in the roaster pan, and we supplied that to actually um, they, emergency foster care. So mm -hmm. it's if you're notified at the last minute that there's a child that needs placement for whatever reason, um, certain things, you know, maybe you don't have enough for dinner you know, for a couple extra of uh, children. So we put frozen dinners together, mm -hmm. something you could put in the freezer. Nice. We did that. Yep. And the, the birthday cakes. They so just find good. such creative ways. They and do. those they little places, like everybody knows about United Way and everybody knows about, you know, big places and those are mm -hmm. great. But they find these other little niches of society that kind that of, could use a little falls boost. Through the cracks. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And extra, I love that. You know. I love that. And um <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, we're collecting for the uh, women's shelter oh, now. Mm -hmm. So clothing, mm -hmm. um, you know, socks, t-shirts, uh, you know, mm -hmm. something for the, you know, uh, nightgowns, mm -hmm. anything for the shelter. Sometimes uh, families, women and and or children have to leave with quickly without li yeah with nothing extra except what's on their bodies. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm glad that they're really helping with that. Yeah, one. hairbrushes. Mm -hmm. Some bobby pins, some hair mm -hmm. product, make a nice basket yeah. out of that. So, yeah, lots of things to do. Well, everybody that we've met, I've been to several meetings now, even though I'm mm -hmm. not a member, they still let me come, <laughs> which is really nice. Um, their hearts are in the right places, absolutely. Yes. They want to do the best um, for the community. So, we had one of the little fundraisers we had for ourselves for DAR was us buying T-shirts. So we are going to have our DAR t-shirts. We've gotten, you know, um, approval and the company picked out and the styles picked out, et cetera, design mm -hmm. and color and all that stuff. So we all put our orders in the other night for our DAR t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So when we go do stuff together, mm -hmm. we can kind of identify each other and you can see how many people are mm -hmm. in the group. Um, oh yeah. We had a, we had a, um, Martha Washington tea party. Oh, a tea. Yeah. yeah that was that. great. Sold tickets for it. And oh my gosh. Yeah. Made good like money for that. $1,600. Yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. So oh there's just gosh. such, I mean, our chapter, I can't say enough good things about it. I really think they, um, they really yeah. do a stellar job yeah. of, of staying busy Spencer and helping Clack the community. Is extremely busy in the community. It yeah, is. It so is. Good stuff. So we just want to keep you guys updated. Mm -hmm. Um, so Marsha is now in. Sarah's been in for a little bit, but she got her mm -hmm. official welcome uh, on Monday night, and Marshall was sworn in on Monday night. So, mm -hmm. 
two down, one to go. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we thank you all for watching. Absolutely. And, um, and we'll be back with you again soon. Yes, hopefully to, you know. Hopefully. Say she's like in. Not yeah. on wood. <laughs> hopefully. One more document. Just one more. That's what they always say. Just one more. <laughs> you all have a good day. All Thanks right. for watching. Bye. Bye.